What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and learn about Marcus and Martinus. I have never heard of these two people before, but apparently Marcus and Martinus, occasionally known as Eminem, M and M. <laughs> like Eminem the rapper? Or do you say this M and M? Uh, anyway, anyway, <laughs> that, that threw me off a little bit. Uh, they are a Norwegian dance pop duo consisting of identical twin brothers. What? No way. So are they actually really popular in Norway? Because uh, I have never heard of them before. I'm actually really interested in this now. I, I, I want to take a listen to one of their songs uh, soon. But first, let, let's read a little bit more about their background. Marcus and Martinus Gunnarsson, they were born in 2002. 2002. That was over 20 years ago. Can you believe that? <laughs> they were born in the year 2002. Um, how old are they? They're 22. Oh, <laughs> I, could, I could have just calculated that. Okay, 22. Um, they were born in Elerum, Ele Norway. I've never heard of that, wh where that is. They have released four studio albums. Wow, they've won numerous prizes. Um, wow. Oh, wait. They represented host nation Sweden in the Eurovision contest in 2024? They rep they represented Sweden? Wait a minute. Saw is written it represented Sweden. What? Wait, they're Norwegian though. Wait, what? How does that work? I'm very I'm I'm very confused by that. They represented Sweden in Eurovision? Even though they're Norwegian? They're Norwegian dance duo. Okay. Alright. Why not? Uh, here's their picture. Um, what, what's kind of funny is that I was taking a look at, uh, one of their, their songs that I wanted to listen to. It's called Electrisk. Um, and I think they're very, very young here. Like, they started performing and making songs when, I, I don't know how old they are. They could be like 12 years old. Like, <laughs> they've been doing this for a very, very long time, I guess. Um, do any Norwegians out there? Are you fans of Marcus and Martinus? Um, maybe since you were a kid, they've been doing it long enough. So this might be one of their earliest, most popular songs called Electrisk. Um, I actually have the lyrics uh, on my phone. Yes, I have lyrics on my phone because this song is in Norwegian. I've been wanting to hear a, a Norwegian song that's just, it's in Norwegian language. Because a lot of times they're actually in English, which is nice because I can understand it. Um, when I've listened to some of the Yolvis songs, they're in English. So this is in Norwegian. I have translation here. So let's take a look. Electrisk. <laughs> They're so young. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, that's just the intro. <laughs> this is this is so weird. They're so young. Like I would normally never listen to children uh, like singing serious pop songs, but this kind of reminds me of like Justin Bieber. Or like are they like the Justin Bieber's of Norway? They're identical twins. Uh <laughs> So far? So far the actual music it's okay. Uh, they haven't really started yet, but it sounds all right so far. Wait a minute. 
hold on. Everything you do puts me in a trance. Feel the body dance. They're actually singing about girls. Aren't they a little young for that? <laughs> Aren't they a little young for this? To be singing about like like being attracted to girls? Like I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Hold on. He, the, the, he's rapping. Is he rapping? It's kind of hard to understand when it's in a different language. Um, it sounds like he's rapping. He's actually pretty good. Like, I don't know what he's saying. Uh, feel the spark. Feel the body dance. Uh, feel the spark when it goes against me. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, I mean, there's no debating they sound good. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. This <laughs> Will you hold my hand? Very provocative. This is cutting edge stuff. <laughs> this is cutting edge stuff. Will you hold my hand? I'll show I'll show you charm. I don't know how like accurate this translation is. Yeah, they want to, like, go to the beach, and they're giving these girls flowers. Like, how old are they here? All right, maybe I'm thinking about this too much. Uh, so far, so far the music sounds decent, actually. Sounds okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this really is like a pop song. Kind of, there's some rap in here too. Oh my gosh. How many people in Norway know about Marcus and Martinus? Um, are they very, very popular? Uh, I'm kind of curious to know how popular they are. This song has a lot of views, a lot of plays, um, and I kind of understand it. Like I, I'm guessing that they're very popular with the young, with kids, younger people. But now, now they're like 22 years old. They're like 22 years old now. So I, I wonder if their music has kind of evolved with them. <laughs> it's kind of catchy. It's kind of catchy. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> They've even got me doing it. Who's this? Who's this guy? Who is this? Uh, Catastrophe? <laughs> His name is Catastrophe? Oh my gosh. Uh, I was not expecting like an adult to come in and sing on this. All right. <laughs> you know, I hate to admit it, but the song is kind of good. It's kind of catchy. Like, I know it's just kind of like a standard pop song. It's just kind of cool to hear Norwegian music. Because uh, I've really never, never heard like a Norwegian pop song. It's kind of funny because I'm, I'm used to music like this in English in America, of course. But uh, I don't know. They, they kind of remind me of Justin Bieber, but a little edgier. <laughs> Maybe just because they're children, but... I mean, I can't criticize it too much. It it sounds good. <laughs> I'm trying to find the lyrics here. Like, you give me goosebumps when I think of you? <laughs> you are amazing. <laughs> it's not it's not the most like 
groundbreaking lyrics ever. They're they're kind of simple lyrics like, uh, "You are amazing. I will smile at you. You are electric. You give me goosebumps." <laughs> this is, it's kind of funny because this really is like a kid's pop song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is the good part. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If if I were like a 12-year-old, I think I'd be jamming out to this. I think I th I think I would have been a Marcus and Martinus fan. Uh the chorus part here is kind of catchy. Like I I hate to admit that it's actually catchy. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> they got some moves. Making hot dogs. Is that a reindeer hot dog? I don't know. It is Norway. Uh, <laughs> they're chilling. They're dancing. All right. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Uh, the the only thing I also that keeps coming to my mind is like, this is clearly clearly made for kids, but uh, I don't know. This song must be like ten years old by now. Again, I'm curious. Like, has Martin and Martinus? Do they have some like popular songs now, as adults, or were they more popular as children? Because um, that can happen sometimes if you're like if you're famous when you're a child. That's when you peak? I don't know. <laughs> oh! 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 Holding hands! Oh! Oh! Very scandalous! <laughs> Holding hands! <laughs> Elektrisk. Oh, does that mean electric in Norwegian? I just realized that. That's the name of the song, Elektrisk. It means electric. Okay. Well, I mean, not exactly the music I'm going to be putting on in my car later, but it, for what this is, like, you know, for young kids, uh, it, it's, it's good. Like, it, again, it reminds me of Justin Bieber, who's... In enormously popular here in the United States. Um, I don't know. Uh, I kind of want to look to see if there's anything else here in their Wikipedia uh, about about how they're doing now. Born in Elverum, Nor Elverum Norway. Marcus is 15 minutes older than Martinus. Um, yeah, they debuted in 2012. 2012. 12 years ago. Yeah, they have music in 2017, 2021. 20, they, they're, they're still active, 2022. Um, oh, they won the Swedish version of The Masked Singer? Huh, and they released a single in 2022, When All the Lights Go Out. Okay. Uh, they participated in Mel de la Festa Valen with the song Unforgettable. Okay. They represented Sweden in Eurovision. I'm still confused about that. Um, uh, they placed ninth in Eurovision. That sounds pretty darn good, actually. Okay, so they're still doing stuff. They're still popular. Uh, it's just funny that they've been doing this for like 12 years. I've never heard of them. Americans really do not know about Marcus and Martinus, but uh, maybe we should. I think there's a lot of young kids that might actually really like the music. It's in Norwegian, which is going to be a barrier to being popular in America, but uh, uh, it was catchy and enjoyable, so it's kind of fun, like, listening to music in another language. It kind of opens the possibilities, so I actually really enjoyed this quite a bit. Anyway, 
If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on Marcus and Martinus. If you are a fan, if you listen to their music for the last 12 years, uh, that'd be really interesting to hear about from Norwegians out there. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Norway and learning about Norwegian culture, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.